guys. So I'm going to watch WandaVision, which this is the fifth episode on a very special episode. And react. So let's just jump in, shall we? Disney! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, he is so... I think he's honestly hotter with the makeup. Oh gosh. Oh god, they sound like a woman crying. Um, uh, glitching. Oh, they're so cute. Oh god. Hmm. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day, or without a village. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, you know, go from babies to toddlers in two seconds flat. Oh my god. Oh, they're so cute. Hell breaks loose, and trust is gone, I'm assuming. Oh, the little kiddos. Oh my god. Oh, that... She doesn't even care. They just morphed into Power Ranger-esque older kids. Holy fuck. Oh, she's breaking the third wall. Or the fourth wall. Her accent! Oh my god, it isn't gone. Oh, you're lucky, man. Oh, that was epic. Holy shit. Shit is hitting the fan. Big time. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, she's seeing something that she is terrified of. <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! She recast Pietro? That, that's... <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Um. Wow. Guys. That was better than I expected. I'm not saying I didn't expect it to be good, but holy fuck. Like, a lot of crazy stuff happened in this episode. I mean, I definitely, definitely noticed that Vision was slowly the veil was slowly being lifted from him and he was seeing the truth but this episode i feel like he just it just like went out the window like you know holy fudge sickles quick silver holy shit pietro and it's evan peters which is awesome he's like my favorite quick silver honestly i mean i like aaron taylor johnson who played pietro in the in the movies but I really like Quicksilver as this guy. Um, Evan Peters, I mean. I'm assuming they couldn't get Aaron Taylor Johnson, but that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I Oh my god. The scene where she comes through the veil with the, the bomb. I mean, the missile, I should say. Oh my god. Like, she could have easily killed that dick officer dude. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Holy fuck. Wow, I, I, that was so good. That was, that was, that was probably one of the best episodes so far. And I mean, I thought the previous two episodes were really good. This one is like crazy good. Holy mother. Like, I'm just like, 
astonished at how good that was. Like, wow. That was, wow. And I mean, I love the scene where they're, like, fighting and they're both, like, hovering and, oh, that was. I also like the scene with her trying to explain mortality to the to the boys because I hope in that scene she lear- I mean she probably didn't learn anything but I would hope that she learned something in that scene that you know you can't bring somebody back to from but, but I thought that was very ironic that you know she knows that she shouldn't bring I mean which of course she's trying to teach her boys the opposite but Maybe she's having a change of heart. It, it does, you know, her talking to Vision does bring up the the question. Is she deflecting the idea of her controlling everything that happens and everybody? Or is she really not controlling everybody? I'm not sure. I mean, I would guess that she is controlling everything. And she's just denying that. Or in denial of that. Maybe she is in denial of it. Maybe, maybe she... She probably had no intention of having to be a town. She probably had no intention of any of this. She probably her, her only intention, I that I can guess, it was bringing Vision back, living a life with Vision, you know, having maybe having children with him. She probably didn't see all of this happening. I mean, I doubt it. Holy shit! I don't know how this is gonna end. I mean, we see from the trailer. That, or the trailers, I should say, that they fight for their home. So, somehow, either she gets vision on her side, or the sword agents just get fed up and they just decide to just attack. Which is definitely possible. I definitely see, which is going to be super dope and awesome. I'm so excited. This was really good. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed me reacting to this episode. I'm going to try to react like this from from now on for the next few, for the, for the you know, throughout the rest of the season, I should say. God, find your words, Sarah. Jeez. And, uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I loved the twin, like, jokes. That was so great. And the fact that it was like full house. I can't I think the I think the next episode next week, I think is the one where they dress up like hollow in Halloween costumes. I can't wait for that one. That's gonna be good. But yeah, this was really good. Oh my gosh. So many things to talk about. So many things. Oh my god. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below what you guys think of this episode because my brain is like thinking about a million things at once right now. Holy mama jama. And don't forget to subscribe for more reaction videos and other types of videos from me. Sarah D. Sarah Dippity. Whatever. Okay. So without further ado, I'll see you in my next one. I'm trying to think of anything else that I should say to um like that I didn't talk about. I mean some people are probably wondering, like why Rambo was so keen to go back into the hex, as Darcy coined it. I mean, I'm assuming partially because she's curious, partially because she maybe actually does kind of care about Wanda, maybe, as a person, and also probably because it's her job to care, and it's her job to go back in there and figure this out, I'm assuming. I'm assuming those are the reasons, but yeah. That was crazy. I definitely need to watch this again. But yeah. Okay. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I... Bye.